You got lucky. Oh, <laughs> look at that rest. 23. Okay. Uh, Fury. Oh, right, man. Thing. Fury. Ooh. I... I wouldn't go Fury. Here's the thing. Base, base Ike, 100% go Fury. Uh, Legendary Ike, uh, that's where we start getting weird, because that's Warding Breath that's you're iffy. giving up. Here, it's even worse off, because that's Darting Breath, and that's way better than Warding Breath, especially on Ike. Mm. Yeah, that's P. You also gave him Mirror Sense. Oh, actually, that's really good on him, too. The guard ability, and you can patch up his res. I like that a lot, too. But, yeah. I understand this is one of those skills I did recommend for him before when we did the stat review. Right. Easy. Right. Uh, special Spiral? Oh, my goodness. If you do Special Spiral, oh, I get it. Flashing Blade, Special Spiral, Mayhem, Ether. So it, it drops down to two cooldown. You attack, they attack, and then you Ether. I get it. But wouldn't it be better just to go Warding Breath, Special Spiral? It would be. Yeah. Because then you can enter your face. This is requiring you player face, which makes no sense. Yeah, um, I, I, I said it before. I still think that Fallen Ike is the most awkward unit out of this whole banner. He's he's good. He's strong, uh, what? but he's awkward. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's much awkward about him. You just gotta keep the breath. His build's fine. I don't oh, see any problem there. When I say that he's awkward, it's more because of the design for the weapon. Well, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, flat doesn't counter at least, but chill soaking is always really good. I don't <laughs> think there's... Uh, it, it, it doesn't... It mm -hmm. also doesn't provide him with immunity from the blizzard or broadleaf type weapons. Well, yeah, because of the way that's that the main that, thing. That those but... are set up. And on top of that, the way that it all interacts with panic... It makes it so you basically want to have him charge right in front of a panic manor and AR yes. and then just leave him there. Which almost encourages lower HP, which with his base kit is anti-synergetic with how repel actually functions. Mm -hmm. With this, you're not even using repel, which strikes me as odd. A lot of people already have their panic manor so high that even if you have two mythics, that's only 51 HP. The average yeah, panic man is 55 true. to 60. And an average panic bot, like a Versa, is around 56 to 64 HP. Mm -hmm. Somewhere around there. Yeah. I uh, also want to point out real quick, guys, for the person who said he heals up with Aether, problem is, Aether you heal during combat. Mayhem, uh -huh. Aether, uh, Fury damages you after combat. So no, no matter what, even if you fully heal in combat, you still take 6 damage afterwards. And at his HP, 6 damage is more than just 6 damage, you know? Yeah. Hey, yeah, Legion, I was in the forging bonds and fought Eli Sophia. With my lion mean, has HP, had no problems. skills, and was level 40, he survived the first blow with her special. If he had the skills, he would have survived. I was in forging bonds and fought Eli with my Leon. <laughs> See, somebody <laughs> tried what you said yesterday, or two days ago. <laughs> well, I guess I was right. Almost that survived, That is incredible. Though. Almost. Survived the first blow with her... And with her special, if he had the skills, he wouldn't have. He would have. He if he it's, had the skills, he yeah. would have survived. Yeah. It's entirely because of the double. That's the main thing I was afraid of, which is why Curia would be a much easier time for him. Mm -hmm. That is incredible that your Leon actually took the first hit from Lysithia. Oh, well, that's how Leo. How good Leon is the mage thing. Fifty percent reduction. No joke. All right. Anyways, also, so, Joint Hound Speed is just perfect there. I'd probably keep it. It is, it is. You have such a great kit here. So my suggestion mm -hmm. is, you already have everything you need. Decide between yep. Mirror Stance and Darting Breath, but Special Spiral Darting Breath is just instant ethers all the time, so... And even offensively... If you have Lucina. Mm -hmm. If you have oh. Brave Lucina, then go with Stance. If you don't, I'd probably keep Breath. Right, that's what yep. I was going to say. Uh, Brave Lucina with Mirror Stance makes a lot of sense. Or Darting Breath... Um, by yourself with um, Special Spiral is also really, really good. Now, you can, of course, go back to Repel. It, that also works in terms of damage reduction, but if you just want to spam healing, like, you just want to spam Mayhem Aether, you, you've got that option as well. Of hey, mind taking a look at my F Ike and comments? Sure. 6,026,515,177. Also, how do I display it for you to see? Uh, just send it, put it set as your first hero, join a battle, um, like like uh, rob domains and leave but yeah 
my personal suggestion is Joint Hone Speed, Darting Breath, Special Spyro, Mayhem Ether. Um, but yeah, you, you have a bunch of options. Already? Well, that was fast. That All was right. very fast. Congratulations, you've done it. You've made it to the pantheon of day damn. one plus ten heroes. All I can say is damn. <laughs> And holy crap. This, Damn, this be good. This is actually perfect. This is... Okay. Uh, to go through it, 40 plus 10, 3 flowers, 45 HP, 65 attack, 20 speed, 36 defense, 40 res. The plus attack variant, I 100% agree with that because he actually can one-shot so many things. Plus attack makes so much sense. Uh, Blood Tome, Reposition, Noon Time, Mirror Stance 3, Null Seed Disrupt, Pulse Smoke, and QR. My only worry for you is if you're going up against what Leon's supposed to be killing, which is our Colors Heroes, Range Colors Heroes, he'll one-shot them, so... Your noon time doesn't trigger, um, but everything yeah. else is fine. Fine if you're not always pr procking noon time. It's not like they should be doing a lot of damage to them, anyways. They're actually hitting zeros. Especially anything at range. Yeah, they're actually hitting zeros because, well, if they hit any damage, it'll probably be like one or two. This wouldn't be much because he has 46 res, and then he has 80% AOE reduction and 50% damage reduction. So they're hitting very, very, very low. Not to mention uh, weapons triangle disadvantage on their opponents. On her, on so his it's opponents. like, an, what now? Seventy percent, roughly, mm -hmm. reduction to their damage he's, on top of already having so high defenses. Y yep. So he's getting grazed at worst. Um, mm -hmm. what Especially he, in Astra. Right. And everything else uh, that would pr maybe threaten him would just be fire sweep archers. But then he will just shrug off that damage too. He'll take like what ten at worst. <laughs> like, that's Fire it. won't even be a problem because of null speed disrupt. Yeah, I know. He'll counterattack and kill them, but he'll take ten damage at worst. Yeah, no, but I don't think there's much of anything that he won't tank as long as he has the advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. You can actually just throw I'm him in the middle of a cav line, and because he has noon time, it's going to set up that something hits him, he gets the kill, and then takes oh, yeah. very little just damage. Yeah, then Just something hits. In as long as it's not like Ellie Wood, he's done. Yeah. This is the yep. ultimate cav line killing build. And it, for some reason, they are a Bravo Archer and can trigger a special. Uh, get F'd, because you you got guard on Mirror Stance. Yep. Um, as hmm. far as looking to the future, I know that Mirror Stance is very good for providing him even more attack, but... The potential for bracing stance to make him even more of a tank, especially considering his defense is appreciably lower and not being shored up by mirror stance, that would yeah. just make him even more difficult to kill. <laughs> yeah, it, it really depends on if you really want to go over. Okay, you, you did not need to do you that. You did not need to do that. What are you doing? You did not need to do that. You don't need both close counter and close foil. <laughs> That's also something I can't really say I feel like I should recommend. Midori because he... was wasted. <laughs> he could do it's a close not even because build. of Midori, but it's because of the way his tome works. You could do close counter. You just build him around that if you're really worried about it. Hey, yeah, or distant defense just... four. Okay, Legion, um, someone listens to it you. It doesn't have the guard effect, but it does take every does buff away from ranged opponents. And it's better oh, than Bracing oh, oh, come 3 on. as far as buffs go. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah that, what world okay. do you need Special Spiral on? What, where, where would, Damn, what, when died. would you need this? I bet I bet Duo Alphonse died for Special Spiral and Close Counter. Oh, Damn, that would make sense, yeah. Or souls. But yeah, it was probably for Close Counter. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll yeah, just say I the could... current build is, is pretty much perfect. All the uh, All the other stuff, I don't know why you needed that. The better question is why wouldn't you? <laughs> I guess if you you could, you'd, you'd do it right. Exactly. I know exactly what I would throw at this Leon, and even then, I would not be happy about having to do it. Yeah. Being... Being what? Byleth or Marita. Yeah, anything up close, that's probably your best uh, bet <laughs> anything, on killing. Anything that's not a, mad, a ranged unit will yeah, probably still have much. a good chance. Man... Man, this is pr because this is an ether raids, and you're using Astro Blessing on him. You could probably tank a tank oh, a right, that does shore up his defense. Mm -hmm. You could yeah, probably you even take a Lissabia shot, is what I'm saying. Because oh, he will. 
He has that 10 extra HP from the two Mythic Heroes. And he already mm -hmm. has Mirror Stance. He'll probably Give take Elisithea a shot. Like, two shots. Given a base Leon's already tanking some Lysithea's. It wouldn't be very hard. Alright. Yeah. And then with the Noontime Granted. healing... Maybe it'll Granted, work. he's not likely to kill Lysithia in return. Right, uh, but actually, he, he that'd might. be seventy-one times two. Seventy-one attack. You reduce that by about fourteen. That's still fifty-seven. Whoa! And Lysithia has, yeah. Wait. So that'd be Lysithia has around thirty. Rattlesnake right plus ten, so that'd be about twenty-seven times two, assuming no impact. Oh Just god. some offhand numbers. Oh god, <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah, he could actually kill. It entirely depends on if he can get Noontime off in the first hit back, but right. he could probably kill. He could probably kill. He, yeah, the, the Noontime back is just for to keep him alive, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, because... Like, Even then, if, if, she's, if she's using a one cooldown special, and that's probably... Well, obviously, it's going to be unless the procking a special. But he wants to do it. Count. Guard, so no, wait, no, that won't, that won't go off on the it, So he is countering her with the lance. Three. Also, he is going I, to drag her back with one sturdy blow with his good yep. form. Problem is, she blew him off. Okay. Um, Just to conclude oh. here... <laughs> nice drum. Just to conclude here, I think this Leon is pretty perfect. Uh, the only thing is what Mad Crash has mentioned. If we ever get a stance for defense and res, you might want to take that. But outside of that, because it doesn't exist, Mirror Stance is, is definitely the best thing left. Oh, Mirror Stance or Sturdy Stance 3 is a different option. Sturdy Stance? Although that re that requires sacrificing Duo Idun. Ooh, I'm not so sure about that one. I understand where you're coming from, just from the respect of getting more defense, but yeah. All right, anyways, yes. I like Mirror Stance. Okay, uh, congrats, you, you maxed him out. Uh, I bet you're one of those Leon fanboys, which is fine. It's just the first, you're the first one I've seen thus far. Um, so Strone says Freddy wants to duel Edelgard, so he, he was going to 1v1 her in a joust. So he's countering her with the lands. Also, he's going to drag her back with one sturdy blow with his good form. Problem is, she blew him off. Okay, so it is something from the game. I didn't know. I ran some numbers. <laughs> so a oh, plus dear. attack plus 10 Lysithia with Glimmer against that Leon, assuming she immediately procs Le um, Glimmer would do about 39 damage, including Blood Tomes reductions, on the first hit. Oh my god. Yeah. And then if Leon's doing about 27 damage back, whatever I said, I think that's what I said before, mm -hmm. he heal about, what now, 13 damage off that? Mm -hmm. So it would be a net damage of 26. He has 45 HP here, so assuming that he has some HP buffs going from, let's just say, a couple of Nagas, mm -hmm. or Naga and Altina, mm -hmm. he will kill on the Retaliation, and he will live with about, um, like, 10 HP. Yeah, probably. that makes more sense to me. Okay, so that yeah. That is absolutely ridiculous. And that's... And you can probably live both hits with double Naga, if I'm being totally honest, without having to use a noon time. Okay. So in other words, this Leon will kill every ranged hero <laughs> that hits him. Pretty much. Okay, that's the deal. That's why Leon's pretty meta. That's why like PM1 freaked out about him as well. That's why everyone freaked out about, about Leon. Uh, he's just... He's ridiculous. Blood Tome! Blood Tome is the greatest Raven Tome of all time. It's ridiculous. Outright. Outright, yeah. Assuming you're not like against any as long as you're up against a ranged unit leon is basically immortal even against the top ranged units mm -hmm. you're probably immortal mm -hmm. it, it just feels weird that he even stops lysithia but uh i guess this is another this is one of those few heroes where you can't say lysithia kills them well technically yeah. lysithia does but not in, not in this situation <laughs> i just realized I, I think his best counter is actually on the same banner what ike yeah Julia. Oh, Julia. No. Julia. Julia. His best mage counter is Fallen Julia. Yeah, we did that. We did you the could probably. Yeah. It's in the video right now. That video's up right now, guys. If you want to check it out. We we mapped it out. Though I cut. By the way, Legion, you took like two minutes or two and a half minutes to calculate it. So I just did a SpongeBob later and we just gave the final numbers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That... that took a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
next is Ace. Uh, base build with Swiss Stance the 2. The only problem I has is that he doesn't Perfect. get rid of the penalties. Perfect. He still has them on paper, so weapons like Leaf Cleaner, Blizzard, yeah, Matthew, that's Ursula, also that's for his banes. Anything yes. that exploits penalties. Yes, of course. Of course, Axelush. But those heroes, I'm not so sure they're as, as off. Like, they're common not as common. And Ether Raids, to worry about. you and Thrasher both exploit penalties, but they're both green, so yeah. it's not as big a deal. Yeah. Yeah. If you do run into those, then Ike is much more screwed. Mm -hmm. But. Every other situation, not. though, he's in much more better of a position, though, so. Exactly. Alright, uh. There's nothing to say here. We would just be repeating ourselves for the why Ike is good. So, uh, Swiss yeah, Dance was a great combination. Just Ike is good. Ike is good. Ike yeah. is good. Uh, the only thing we s would say is between Swiss Dance and Mirror Stance, uh, up to you, whichever one you think you need. Swiss Dance uh, is just safer. So, I get it. I, I say Swiss Dance because you have a Altina potential. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. Up. That also patches up his attack. It's just his, his attack is. 35 is not low by any means, but it feels low for, like, this current generation. It does. Then again, you consider, I think that Larce has 36. Mermidons tend like to be that. on the lower side. Yeah. Um, um, biggest thing with Ike, watch out for uh, Broadleaf users, yeah. Ursula, Gunthra. Always. Because if, because if, they, if he gets hit with a massive amount of debuffs or you fully buff him and then put him right in front of a panic manner, mm -hmm. they're they might. going... They're going to they be able hurt. to take advantage of yes. all of that. Yes, yes. But here's the thing. I don't think that's going to be as common as you think because... It's not. Yeah. And keeping in mind, Gunther is green. The other ones you're yeah, really yeah. worried about are Broadleafs and Ursula's. I've like almost never seen Gunther's yeah. used defensively or offensively for that matter. I've seen like once or twice. Gunther kind of falls in the same also vein as you. Necessary with Broadleaf. Yeah. Heavy counter. Green. Makes sense. Uh, tax Smoke. Uh, sure. Better ability to tank when combined with Repel and the fact that she effectively has attack yeah. speed solo six. Right. Yeah. It's totally fine. Yeah, because that defense goes to 38, uh, and then with a damage reduction of Repel, whatever damage you are taking is, is minimized. And she should get the full charge on Repel. Come on, that's 12 extra speed. Yeah, I get it. It's true. Uh, so yeah, attack smoke's just a nice thing to throw in. Um, speed smoke's would uh, be overkill in most situations, so yeah, attack smoke makes more sense. I'm a little sad that you have plus defense as your best IV, but eh, no. you can't all be lucky. You should be sad for other reasons. You should be sad for other so reasons. that's where repel came from. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on. Guys, please. He's so good. Ike, Berserk Ike. I'm just gonna call him Berserk Ike. Fallen Ike sounds stupid. Berserk Ike is so good. Why did you do this? You didn't you do. The real flex is in the skills. Oh, well. I mean, she comes with no follow-up rouse attack defense. That came from, from either Marita or Edelgard. Or, let's be totally honest, it was Edelgard. Most likely. Well, it, it works because the reality is she when she strikes, she has, what, 18 more attack. She's hitting uh -huh. 73. Um... And her defense goes to 38 with the repel being fully charged. She's this is this is a monster of a hill though. It's just so heartbreaking that you already killed Ike. Um, Same this thing. One, he says this was my free pull fallen Ike. All Damn. right, Rain, you've used all your luck for the remainder of this it, year. It, it, yeah, your luck is done for a while. I hope oh, nothing yeah, I, wrong I actually goes past you. Yeah, you did. I saw this one earlier. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, you got both the super boot and the super bane. Nice. All right, yeah, that is a super bane. Mm -hmm. looking, just looking at it. Mm -hmm. I'd um, probably go for the 40 pull, so you can fix that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, that 40 pull is so valuable in fixing your IVs. Right. Mm -hmm. What is he getting from um, plus one merge? Uh, He should be getting five attack and one speed. Five attack? <laughs> Sorry. Five attack. Five, five, five HP. HP. <laughs> yeah. Five HP. Five attack, dear God. Five, is, five, HP, five, one HP, five HP, one speed. Still, still makes a lot of, still a lot of value. Every point of speed 47. is, yeah. Forty-seven speed, 50, 40, 47 speed, forty-one HP. It's such a big benefit. Yeah, with attack speed of getting to fifty-two, that's that's beautiful. And as we mentioned, uh, it's between mirror stance and, uh, the speed and swift stance. Swift stance, yeah. It's between those two stances. You went for mirror. Uh, totally understandable since you got plus speed. All right, good job. I guess, mm -hmm. I guess since we have a similar I simple Ike here. You're aware of the um, 
uh, what I can do with a text beep on four. What? So basically, um, they did a little checking on this. The way a text oh, beep on four. Yeah, huh? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I get it. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah. So um, basically, how a text beep on or a tech res bond four works. Yep. So you neutralize your penalties during combat, and then you add attack res plus seven. Chaos Ragnell um, adds. Yeah, God, that's yeah, Maria disgusting. hurt. It hurt me, but yeah. at the same time, I respect your commitment. Um, so basically, Chaos Ragnell doubles your penalty as a buff, but doesn't get rid of the penalty. Mm -hmm. However, that goes first. So you I add, yeah. for example, if you get hit with chill res, you hit minus seven res. And you get an extra seven plus seven is fourteen in return. Yep. <laughs> then attack res procs. So attack res bond procs. Yeah. So you lose that res penalty effectively. Now you have plus twenty one. Yeah. And then you get an extra seven on that. So you're basically twenty eight res higher. Yeah. That's bullshit. Really how long do you usually yeah. spend doing So it's like twenty one net res on top of your base in combat. Okay, so uh, I didn't know that was a thing until Jesus. now, but I understood it yeah. immediately as soon as you mentioned it. Um, that is just absolutely disgusting. Yep. <laughs> so in other words, we have to actually run this back and say his best... That is if you get debuffed, though. If you don't get debuffed, if it all kind debuffed. of gets wasted. Even if you don't get debuffed, that's still, it's plus, still seven plus seven to two stats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I know. I know what you're talking about. I know. It's just Darting Breath is so good. And attack res bond four is coming off that, Julia. Or attack speed bond four is coming off of mm. who again? Uh, um, attack res bond four was on Maca um, Brave Micaiah, and speed bond four was on um. Valentin Katria. Yeah, those are both. They're they're all valuable heroes, guys. They're really good units. Yes, but um, Micaiah's free, so if you want to kill her off, you, you got yeah. three options. Sorry, not Julia. I was yeah. thinking of wrong wrong skill, but yeah. Yeah, wrong skill. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So, Ooh, Bond boy. 4 is a legitimate option on Ike, because you can net so much off that. Mm -hmm. That is just absolutely insane. Like, of course, if you consider, like, you get chilled and then panicked for minus 7 speed, minus 7 speed, that's minus 14, plus 28, and then oh that minus 14 has gone, and then you get the extra 7, so it's like we having an extra 35 stop. speed. Yeah, that would break a the game, Ike actually. would have 77 speed. That would break the game. <laughs> that would break the game. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I can already think of a way to make it even worse. Oh, there's obviously ways to make it worse, but you can make your base like go to 77 speed. Uh, I'm really yeah. impressed you went immediately for the attack res bond because that's 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 the game. Breaker. I'm glad to know that you knew that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, you knew. That's oh Jesus. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, the way I thought of to make it even worse, uh, to use the bond skill, mm -hmm. just keep him next to Brave Lucina. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The only thing that, the main thing that will actually cause this to fall apart is if Lucina gets hit, because the reason why drives are used is so that you don't, you know, have your Lucina getting bopped off by, like, a leaf that gets in Yodian Zeal off of Ike and then goes forward. Mm -hmm. Not to say that he will just kill everyone. Um... But yeah, yeah. if a unit gets to Lucina, they're dead. Yep. But on the other hand, if he's using attack res bond for standing next to a brave Lucina and hit and get has full buffs so that get hit with panic as well as chills, then I'm pretty sure that Leaf is going to do nothing and then die it, for it's it. It's more so the hypothetical like if Leaf uh, if Leaf gets rally trap off so that he's right like two spaces in front of ike and then goes three spaces down hits that the Lucina. is a very good point <laughs> so you got to be careful about that when you're using um bond because there's always the chance your bond bot will cause death yeah however if you can get around that it absolutely makes ike a monster <laughs> even more a monster yeah nope. okay that, that's a great question wow, this is ridiculous mm-hmm so yeah, I consider uh, just if you go bond four, go full bond and shoot for that panic banner. <laughs> I think this Shannon will be better than Ike. Uh, the capacity uh, is there. It, yeah. Okay. Mm. Here's the thing: if you go DC on Shannon, I'm sorry. I think Ike won. <laughs> that's that's it. In what? Not regard. necessarily. Here's the thing. Okay. There's also. Well. 
Well, I want to hear your thoughts on that one. Okay, so 40 plus 10, no flowers, 47 HP, 58 attack, 46 speed, 41 defense, 22 res, plus speed variant, Balmung, grants speed plus 3, if only issues combat, where foes HP is 100% at the start of combat, neutralizes dependency on unit, and grants attack speed, defense, res plus 5 to unit during combat. So the entire idea is, if they're both at 100%, he, he cannot be debuffed. Mm -hmm. Or if your foe well, is attacking no, if, him. If, he, if his foe is yeah. at 100%, he doesn't have to be. Sorry, if your foe is attacking him or they're at 100%, get rid of their, their buffs. And then you get another attack speed, defense, res, plus 5. Uh, he does have, well, a much more usable special because Imperial Astra just triggers much quicker. Yeah, and it pff, arguably can hit harder. Ar yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, this encounter, close uh -huh. call, times pulse, so stands 2. Okay. So here's the thing, um, with with the breath ability, that ether is probably well, yeah, that is just as fast as Imperial Astra. Then uh, you get hit once in Imperial Astra procs. You have to actually hit twice. Oh, in, in this case, because of the times pulse. Yes, I'm just saying. But yeah. Yeah, Mine, yeah. If you faster. didn't have times pulse, like that's the one thing that Radiant Ether or Berserk Ether, that Ether Mayhem Ether Mayhem Ether can't do because if you're on times pulse, you still have to hit twice back. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't do the second part of the video, so I don't remember the Shannon versus Ike comparison as clearly anymore. But other I than can that, probably bring it up. I sure. just know that he is a much better death tank. Yeah, he has more defense. Shannon definitely yeah. does. But I believe Ike is faster, so... Oh, infinitely. And Shannon's actually not fast, believe yeah. it or not. So, so Ike has... Shannon isn't fast on player phase against opponents that have already taken damage. Mm-hmm. Because That's the caveat there. Over here, he still reaches up to 55 because of Swiss Dance and Baomong if he's getting attacked. The reason why I... I okay, I'm just going to say it. The reason why I prefer Ike is because I feel like offensively, he would do a much better job um, than Shannon. It, but in this case, you did Time Spells in Pure Astra, so Shannon would technically do a better job. So here, In terms of this so build, though... Mm -hmm. um, I will say full disclaimer, Baomong's speed plus 3 is huge here. Um, Shannon has three more HP, three more attack, six less speed, five more defense, yep, and yep. five less res. That's actually really funny because Ike's res is nothing amazing. It's like twenty three or something. Oh, Shannon's is pathetic. Shannon's is pathetic. Yeah. Granted, Ike's not going to get as many res penalties, so he can't really buff that off of his, you know, weapon as much. Shannon, as long as he gets it with any penalty, or, well, rather, if he has his ball monk trigger, it's an extra five outright. Mm. You know what? Yep. Those two are actually really, really close. I still think I prefer Ike, just because I feel like he'll have a better chance of uh, maxing a repel. Um, Balmung's has does have a weakness here with... Well, as long as he's getting attacked, I guess it doesn't really matter. But with yeah, the speed plus three, it's a difference of three speed between the two. I have so, it's a matter and Shannon of Ike's Prater. getting speed penalties, because... That happens a lot. Wait, this one's maxed out. You gotta remember that, though. Oh, well, yeah, but you can also consider maxed out Ike if you're. Okay. Yeah, maxed out Ike with Warding Breath, I feel like, would have a much more likely max out Repel over close this close call. E easily, because. Warding again. Breath, warding Breath or Darting Breath? Darting, probably. But if, if we just put him on an even playing field, the main thing is that Shannon can't get as many speed buffs because. Balmung's plus five at best. If you get hit with a chill speed, then uh, Ragnar's already giving an extra two over that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so just yeah. just Ike to summarize, double. the reason why I prefer Ike is slightly higher res, uh, more likely to max out Repel versus Close Call, and because um, he's running the breath, he should he should still get really fast specials, which gives him sustain. And of course, it doesn't show up in the stats, but you can't debuff Ike. Whereas Shannon, technically, you can't debuff him, but Ike is more than just you can't debuff him. You would buff him, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, Shannon. Shannon's basically a more consistent Ike because no matter what, That's he'll true. get that plus five in every stat. True. Ike, you have to depend on what kind of penalties you're taking. Mm -hmm. It has a higher ceiling, but a lower base potential because you get it like, for example, threatened defense. That's not gonna really help much. Right. Whereas Balmung, as long as it's proccing, it's a very solid step up across the board. Right, but the, that's also the reason why we mentioned Shannon. It's because he's the closest thing to Ike. And that's why it's celebrate that we have Ike in the first place. Yeah. Closest male hero, sorry guys, to be specific. Yeah, I think Merida, original Merida, is the absolute closest. But 
the fact that Chanun can avoid his penalties is probably the most important factor. Mm -hmm. But so also, yeah. Also, just prefer Ike with DC over Shannon DC because his res this here is. Yeah. yeah. Again, I probably won't get hit with penalties to res, and given that Shannon True. will, every time he procs DC, no matter what, he's gonna have Balmung because that's enemy phase. Mm -hmm. So that's already twenty-seven. Ike getting hit for more res than that, it's not very likely. Yeah. And that said, when it does happen, Ike does have the advantage because Ike has five more res, mm -hmm. meaning that any res penalty will put Ike above Shannon. Right. Yeah. <sighs>